Hi, I'm Victoria Cotner, and I'm the marketing manager for the North Carolina Theater Conference. I'm also a first year student at Colorado State University. So I'm here today to discuss my analysis and predictions of the future of advertising through media. So a little bit of a game plan about what I'm going to talk to you about is that I'm going to start by providing an introduction to the topic and background on advertising media. Then I'll discuss my core predictions of four academics and professionals in the advertising industry. Finally, I'll tie all their beliefs together by providing the most accurate prediction of the future of advertising media. So I want to start out by saying that new technology is constantly being released every single year. Even I, a self-proclaimed social media guru, according to my resume, have an extremely hard time keeping up with everything that's coming out. So I really can't imagine what it's like for an advertising executive who relies on new media technology and new media sources um, to make money for their company, um, having to keep up with that every single day and make, making sure that you can utilize all of your sources to its fullest potential. So what will advertising and media look like in another 10 years when even newer and more complex media comes out? It might be difficult to predict what technology will arise. However, advertising trends allow for predictions and re recommendations for the future. So now I want to dive into my sources that I used in the paper. So the first source comes from authors Peter Nijens and Hilda Vorveld from the University of Amsterdam. So they suggest that in the future, uh, advertisers combine multiple media sources in one campaign, and they should expose the same message through a variety of different media forms within that campaign. They also say that advertising academics and practitioners need to work together. Please <laughs> work together, they're saying, just like people in the medical field do. If doctors work together on providing the best solutions to medical issues, then why can't all industries do that, especially advertising? So the second source comes from another University of Amsterdam professor, Mark Dues. So he has three suggestions for the future of advertising and media. His first is that we should tell stories and tell good ones. The second, he believes that the credibility of advertising and media shouldn't be left to journalists and documentary filmmakers to uncover. Instead, advertising professionals should monitor their own credibility by simply making ethical and culturally aware decisions. He's basically saying, and I appreciated his sarcastic tone and uh, in this article, but he's basically saying, it's not that hard, people. Let's just be good people, and that's it. <laughs> um, three, he's saying that there needs to be a hybridization of the arts and business. However, the struggle professionals in advertising will come across is that they want to create good work, but they must also make good money with it at the same time. Um, this is something that I struggle with almost every day as a freelance graphic designer as well. Um, advertising companies in particular have come to me with... Uh, prompts for work, basically saying that they want um, a specific campaign done within 10 hours when they know it should be taking 20 hours, but they only want to give me 10 hours worth of pay. And that really affects how good a campaign is going to turn out. Um, and so there needs to be more of a discussion between the artists and professionals in the advertising industry if they don't have an in-house uh, design team about what the work is going to look like. So for my third source, um, it comes from two professors, uh, one from King's College London named Shintaro Okazaki, and the second from Villanova University named Charles R. Taylor. Um, so together they basically say that the future of advertising media is going to be completely social. So social media is going to rule all of advertising, in their opinion. Um, and they say this because social media allows advertisers to do three things. One, to capitalize on networking capability to bring people together. Two, image transferability, which enables marketers to build the brand with larger audiences than ever before. And three, personal extensibility, which allows interactions and relationships to be built over much larger geographic boundaries than ever before. So the final professional I interviewed is the head of marketing for SOAP, and his name is Joseph Co Cochran Brown. Joseph questioned something that I thought was very interesting. He said, if the same five formulas for advertising, particularly through television media, are be becoming redundant to professionals, how redundant are they becoming to consumers? Consumers don't want to see the same three advertisements, particularly when they're seeing it all the time. <laughs> um, so we need to start changing it up so things don't become outdated, in his opinion. Um, and also, much like Dues' belief in an ongoing hybridization of the arts and business, 
Uh, Joseph also agrees that the future of advertising and media will consist of artistic but strategic storytelling with minimal hints of the product. He supports this belief by saying that some of the best commercials that he sees now barely mention the product. Instead, they take a stance on a social issue or just show a nice story and include their product in it somehow, but minimally. So, to conclude on everything, the future of advertising is this. Ethical, creative work. Creativity throughout intertwining social media and advertising through storytelling. Minimal product mentions. Goal of connecting people socially over a cause. And finally, everyone needs to work together. The industry should take something from the medical field and find the best solutions to advertising with ethical, captivating media. Well, that's it for me. I hope that you could take something from uh, some of the sources that I found for my paper. Overall, I thought that it was a really interesting read on almost every article I read, read even if I didn't use it. Um, and it'll be an interesting time seeing how uh, media develops and how advertising reacts to that. Thank you.